Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump's baby granddaughter in imminent danger. 15 DRS after Melania got extra security for Baron. They say that violence is the last refuge of the incompetent and it seems that is true in spades these days as the violent rhetoric of leftist progressives. It is clearly getting out of hand and sadly it is likely to only get worse. In this day and age, there seems to be little point in a discussion when most have not been taught how to think, only merely what to think. Talking points are recited verbatim and facts do not seem to matter. Nothing is sacred and nothing is off-limits. Children are routinely attacked and mistreated by the very people that claim the entire source of their anger is due to unwarranted attacks and the mistreatment of children. Pat Dassault is a Canadian comedy writer with a Hollywood resume and he apparently thinks threatening four-year-old little girls with kidnapping and violence is a grand plan. Dassault took to Twitter to channel his inner Peter Fonda and threaten the daughter of Donald Trump Jr. and the granddaughter of President Donald Trump. Dassault sent out what any rational person would consider an alarming tweet declaring to the entire interwebs he and others were coming for the little girl next. In the ensuing backlash, Dassault not only deleted the tweet but he took his entire Twitter profile down. It seems his mouth, or in this case, his fingers wrote checks he was not willing to personally cash. I guess it is different when the violence is directed against him, such as the case with bullies. This threat comes directly on the heels of violent disgusting tweets sent from Fonda. The actor called for the kidnapping of President Trump's youngest son, 12-year-old Baron. As if that were not quite far enough, the Easy Rider star then took it a step further to put him in a cage with pedophiles. Fonda's full and despicable tweet stated, We should R.I.P. Baron Trump from his mother's arms and put him in a cage with pedophiles and see if mother will stand up against the giant asshole she is married to. 90 million people in the streets on the same weekend in the country. Fuck. Shortly after he issued his repugnant tweet and threat, the office of the First Lady Melania Trump informed the Secret Service of Fonda's insane Twitter meltdown. The tweet is sick and irresponsible and USSS has been notified, Stephanie Grisham, spokesperson for the First Lady, told the Daily Caller. Fonda also deleted his tweet and then publicly apologized if one wants to call it that, for his vile Twitter tirade where he publicly advocated for the kidnapping and ultimate violation of a 12-year-old boy all for the crime of being born into a family with whom he politically and ideologically disagrees. Fonda also called for the RE and degradation of both White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders and the kidnapping of her three children, as well as a similar sentiment expressed towards Secretary of Homeland Security Kirsten Nielsen. Fonda tweeted, Christian Nielsen is a lying gash that should be put in a cage and poked at by passers-by. Fonda's disgusting verbal diarrhea, as well as that of Dassault, were cheered on by other members of their violent gang of Hollywood imbeciles prior to being removed. I find it hard to believe that such people can harbor such hatred for women and children that have done nothing to them, people they do not even know, all in the name of saving other children supposedly separated from their family as they legally cross the border. I tweeted something highly inappropriate and vulgar about the president and his family in response to the devastating images I was seeing on television," Fonda said in a statement late Wednesday. Like many Americans, I am very impassioned and distraught over the situation with children separated from their families at the border but I went way too far. It was wrong and I should not have done it. I immediately regretted it and sincerely apologized to the family for what I said and any hurt my words have caused. Then there is the CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey. A guy that apologized for any possible offense it caused the LBGTQ community all for the despicable crime of eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich during Pride. Yet this same thin-skinned person seems to go radio silent in response to an actor threatening at a 12-year-old child and a writer threatening a 4-year-old child via tweet making Twitter complicit and in tactic agreement. I guess all that rhetoric about hashtag me too and hashtag times up and if you see something, say something were just words and that Hollywood hypocrisy was on full display with Dorsey as a fully complicit participant in the events. What? What was that? Hypocrisy? Yeah, yours is hanging out. You might want to tuck that back in. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.